morning youtube it is saturday and it is march the 24th and i am here to share with you some products that has helped my face with my acne as you all know that watch my channel that i struggle with, with combination skin i have oily skin and i don't really have um a big problem with acne but i noticed that since i've been like transitioning and um Going from place to place, I noticed that my face seems to act up. And since I had got here, I got here in November of 2017. It is now March 2018. And when I got here, uh, right before I left Washington State, like I was having this issue right up in here in the T-zone areas and down in here, down on the side of my face. And I do produce a lot of oil. And I've been in a very stressful environment. So when you're stressed out, what happens is those other hormones, those oil glands, it just get the pumping. And it was just pumping excessive oil, which caused my breakouts. And so I did go to the gym earlier today. So I did do this process once, but I'm going to do it again because my face is, has had sweat rolling down my face and all this other stuff. And I thought I would come to you and share with you what has helped me. So um, if you guys are new to my channel, um, hi, I'm Lobby J. I am a United States soldier. I am currently in training to be an occupational therapy assistant in the Army. Um, I vlog about my transition from going from an 88 hotel, which is a cargo specialist, to an OTA, which is a 68 Lima, in the Army. Um, and so I just kind of take you through life um, and share my experiences with you. So. Um, let's get started, all right? So normally what I used to do is use, um, this is what I normally use before I added these other products. So I just normally use this Clearasil Rapid Action Daily Face Wash. Everybody uses this, right? And I mean, I mean, it works. When I got here, it was just like doing nothing for my life. Um, or I would use this one of the two i still use this um so i was trying like all these different products i tried the detoxifying pill off mask what do i think about it when i look on facebook and i see them put it on their face and all this gunk come off like did i see the same results nah like i don't even know if it worked honestly but my acne didn't really clear up from using this. I even tried the charcoal clarifying soft and black pearl clay mask. This do, um, it did soften my skin or whatever, but like I said, I feel like the amount of oil that my face makes in a stressful environment, these two products were just like not doing anything for me. It gave lasting results, okay? Uh, and then what I used to do is use my own DIY facial moisturizer, which is a mixture of green tea and coconut oil. But let's just say I still use coconut oil as my nighttime um, facial moisturizer, but I just don't use my DIY one anymore. So with that being said, those are some of the products that I went through, like some stuff work for some people and other stuff work for other people but my face has went through a dramatic change since i've been here since i've been using these three products i'm going to introduce to you one of them is not new because one of them is still this clean and clear um there's different ones but i like to get the one that says new formula on it so i normally use this in the morning time i use this in the morning and um You can just feel the deep cleaning, like you can just feel it working. So it says oil free, deep action cream cleanser, deep cleans, deep cleans to remove the layers of dirt and oil that can clog pores. It's a Johnson Johnson product. Absolutely love this little thing. Um, for a long time, though, what I would do is get confused on whether I use clear cell or clean and clear, and I would just pick either one up. But I will say that I like clean and clear over clear cell, so that's that. And my roommate actually introduced this to me. Biore. Biore, I don't really know how you say it, but she introduced this to me 
And what I love about it is that um, it has the warming anti-blackhead cleanser, open pores, and targets blackheads. Silk acid, acne treatment, and oil-free. And it says break it with blackheads. So this is something that I use at nighttime, um, right before I go to bed. So I would wash my face with this at nighttime. And afterwards, depending on what day it is, I also use this. Formula 10.0.6 Pores Be Pure Skin Clarifier Mud Mask. This is strawberry plus yarrow. This skin refining mask with berry boosters goes straight to work on clogged pores. Strawberry and rosemary eliminate impurities while yarrow clarifies skin for instant complexion perfection. Y'all, this product right here is life. It is life, y'all. I went to get a facial and she put something kind of like this but i think it was a pumpkin flavored spice and i'm not a big fan of pumpkin flavored spice things but oh my goodness it was awesome like the bomb.com and it pretty much does the same thing you put it on it does this tingling sensation you leave it on for about 10 to 15 minutes and then you rinse it off and you can see the difference like instantly like right after your pores are feel so cool cleared and the next day it's just like ah, awesome awesome love it so the third thing that i do now is i use the coconut oil um this is a de la cruz product moisturizer humectant and um you can use this for your hair or your skin. I use it for my face. Um, it has I read it says it hydrates the skin and hair and forms a rich protective barrier for use on the hair. Apply to dry hair and scalp. Let stand for 60 minutes and then shampoo normally. Or whatever, but you can use it for your face. So that's what I use it for. Um, I use this at nighttime. So at nighttime, I go to sleep. After I've washed my face with this and put on my clay mask, like I only do this three times out the week. So maybe Monday, Wednesday, Friday. If I forget, then it's Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, whatever. This is what I use. It says one to three times. I use it three times out the week. But on an overnight, these are the three products that I use that have been a great help to my acne. Like if you watch some of my other videos while I've been here, you can just see the imperfections in my face. And I hated it because I don't normally struggle with acne, but since I've been really stressed out and doing all these other things, I have been having acne issues and I don't like it. Um, and the only thing that changes from this is in the morning time, I use this so in the morning time I use the clean and clear and the Cetaphil Dermal Control Oil Control Moisturizer is acne prone skin with sunscreen broad spectrum SPF 30 ladies let me tell you how important it is to have sunscreen in your daytime moisturizer because it helps the skin okay it helps prevent sunburn so yes black people can get some burn too please educate yourself please know that so this is really good and what i love about this product is that i don't have to use primer when i wear makeup like it keeps me back all day under my foundation and i don't really wear it like that i don't really wear foundation like a full face i normally just do my eyebrows so this has just been life for me okay because i don't have to have like no freaking primer all I have to have is facial moisturizer and I got my facial moisturizer and my sunscreen and it's awesome. You guys know you can purchase this anywhere. I bought this particular one. I actually bought this one at Ross because y'all know that I have a Ross addiction. I bought this at Target. I bought this at Family Dollar. I bought this at Walmart. And I actually bought this at Target as well. Both of these came from Target. Okay. So they're in stores. You can find them easily. Um, I didn't like run around to find all these different products at once. I was just kind of like trying to 
find out something to use. So um, right now I'll go ahead and demonstrate my morning routine and then later on tonight I will demonstrate my night routine which is simple. So oh, boy, I'm always breaking these things. Always. I just broke my top. Alright, whatever. So I'll come in here. Face up. Whoa, whoa. Take the cleaning clear and just lather. Make sure I massage it. Real good in um, those problem areas. So, up in my T zone, in between my eyes, my forehead, and my sides of my face. It's kind of like I can still feel the tingling sensation. I absolutely love that feeling. Then I come behind it with this. Just give it a couple of pumps and You don't have to put a lot, but just enough to make sure you like fully cover. I'm gonna put it on and just try to like massage it in my face. Like so. Get that blood circulating in the face. Yeah, I'll kind of explain it to you like. How refreshing this is. Whew. And 
and that's my morning routine. But washing my face. I'll be back later on tonight to show you what I do for my night routine. If you have any questions, you can um, put them in the comment section below. If I remember, because I know I'm not going to remember, I'll try to put all the um, links of the products that I'm using in the description box below. But most of these products you guys probably have already seen in your local Walmart or Target. But I will still do my best to link it so that if you want to try it out, you can just go straight down below and click on the link and get it from wherever you want to and i'll see you later guys it is night time it is well i'm sorry it's wee hours of the morning on sunday it is 2 a.m i've been up watching this movie called addicted came out in 2014 it's supposed to be like the movie version of some zane book i don't know it was really good though um i was watching that and i figured i should probably do this freaking review finish this review for my face show my face care routine so this is the night portion of it um i clearly have on a little bit of concealer and i filled in my brows earlier so before i start my skincare routine the first thing that i'm going to do is take off that makeup with some um makeup remover um doesn't really matter what kind you use i have clinique take the day off makeup remover for lids lashes and lips um nothing too special I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, you can get the makeup wipes. I'm only using this because my sister bought it for Christmas and I have it, so I'm going to use it. Um, the facial wash for this and the moisturizer, um, I have it. Um, uh, it just didn't do anything for me. And the facial wash made my face <laughs> tingle, so it is what it is. So I'm just going to dab a little bit of this on here. I don't do my eyebrows every day or put on makeup every day, so uh, this part is not daily. Um, I feel like I need it. Okay, there's that. I don't wear a lot of makeup, so that was fairly, fairly simple. Now I'm gonna come in with my Dior. With my face and I don't know if you can see it, but it's like little blue beads in it. And it's like warm to touch. Like you put it on your face and you just feel this burst of warmness. So stay up. Over in, making sure to like really lather up those spots and problem areas.
So like now, on a night where I don't do uh the mask, I would literally just like wash my face. And put my coconut oil and pile my hair up together and moisturize my face with that. But since it is my night to do that, and I'm doing a review of my facial, my skincare routine for my face, I thought I'd just go ahead and do it. So after I wipe off that, I just kind of air dry and then I come in with this I do it every other day and... smells amazing Just really do clean out your pores and tighten them and get rid of that dirt that build up that causes the acne and this has been like game changer for my skin and for those of you that watch my stuff every time I come out if you look at how my skin look in these videos as opposed to like the other videos you can definitely see how much my skin has improved since using these and I've been really using them a long time and I mean, if you don't like things that tingle I mean I don't know like this really tingles so you really know that it's doing something I mean like normally tingles and just like just hot certain places <laughs> kind of just lets me know my problem is where something is trying to come up so like I'm feeling it more here here and here but anyway, this has to stay on my face for 10 to 15 minutes, so I'll be back when that is done, and we'll finish up. See you in a little bit. All right, y'all. It is officially 2.34 a.m. in the morning, and um, this is what the mask looks like um, so far. So what I'm going to do now is rinse it off and finish this up so I can go to sleep. So let's get started. It's all dried up. I know I've been mumbling the last part of this review. I am tired. And I told myself I was going to finish this. So this just goes to show how dedicated I am. Even though I look like a sleeping zombie right now. Just run this warm water over my rag again. Come in and gently wipe away.
finisher coconut oil I let really stick my finger in it it is oil you can see it on my finger I put it in the middle of my palm like so because you don't want a lot then it's massage it's my palms and massage it into my face So refreshing and you know, I make sure I, and it's good for your eyebrows and your eyelashes and it keeps them nice and full. You know, I like that because I need to be not doing my brows some days. And I just don't feel like working with an eyelid glitter at her. And that is my skincare routine. Um Put any questions that you have in the box below as previously stated your girl is tired and i made sure i follow <laughs> excuse me y'all i followed through on finishing this vlog tonight so hope you guys i'm so tired i apologize i apologize for the mumbling but i try to make sure i got it out to you so simple that's what i use the only thing that you didn't get to see me do is um every other night i do use the facial mask normally monday wednesday friday saturday that's my schedule uh not so much the weekends but i just went ahead and use it this saturday just so you can see but on most nights it's literally just this in the coconut oil and in the morning it's the clean and clear and my cetaphil with the sunscreen in it um that's all I have for you guys. Um, I am tired, so Lava J be hollering at y'all tomorrow. Talk to you later.